सो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वंस अगेन इन डेली वो कैवरीज टुडे इज 20th ऑफ दिसंबर 2021 वी सेलिब्रेट अ वेरी स्पेशल डे व्हिच इज इंटरनेशनल ह्यूमन सॉलिडेटरी डे इज ऑब्जर्वड ऑन ग्लोबली ऑन 20th ऑफ दिसंबर एंड एवरी ईयर टू सेलिब्रेट द यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी एंड रेज अवेयरनेस अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ सॉलिडेटरिटी एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द यूनाइटेड नेशन मिलेनियम डे declaration solidarity among the fundamental values are essential for international relation like a solidarity of human beings today's vocab will be from m which is machination or machination means a plot or a scheme like you develop when a james bond villain comes up with a plan to destroy the world he doesn't use a simple plan no uses a machination a complex plot that relies on numerous elements coming together to work like this machination so you can see that machination synonym for this word is schemes plotting plots like you are plotting something story or antonym for this word is frankness honesty today is one word substitution and idiom are one word substitution is consummate consummates perfectly high Lee skilled, reached, and jeet of art is called consummate in one word. Today's idiom of phrasal verb to improve English is hit the hay, go to the bed. Like many idioms we will learn, tie the knot means to get married. Like in short, you can say eat crow, not actually eating the crow, but to have to admit that you made a mistake means you eat a crow. Went out of exo, so you can read these idioms, which is. our idiom and in earlier i described you about a vocab which is which is machination starting from the m like this machination uh, machination or plot or scheme and today we celebrate on 20th of december international human solidarity day so let's guys move to another thing which is uh, idiom and phrasal verb which we studied that one word substitution is consummate and idiom was hit the hay means go to bed like if you going to so sleep i will tell you one more thing guys to improve english please to improve english guys yes important thing like how you can improve your english spoken english so yes guys steps for your spoken english observation and listening are the key in spoken english like you have to first of all observe the people how they are speaking and listening of that thing reading habit will make you very good uh, very good spoke person or speaker of english because you need to start practicing and then you can develop a spoken english habit like if you are not saying any kind of word uh, in english and you want that you english will come to you not that will not happen english will come to you only when you will start practicing it and reading habit is also one of the most important reason to be a good spoke person surround yourself with spoken english people means like if people around you speaks english you will be also able to speak in english observe interviews and movies in english so that will help you a lot basic grammar is must to avoid grammatical errors means if you want to speak english you want to avoid any kind of error so you should Uh, avoid the grammatical mistakes, guys. And one more thing is important: have confidence, but not overconfident. Like if you are speaking English, it's right, but don't show confidence that much, uh, so that you are making mistake and speaking English. That will be also a wrong thing. So you need to focus on these uh, points, which I have already told you. And study well. I hope that you like this video. Share and subscribe with your friends. Today's book have. Uh, and idiom or day